only you knew, <laughs> if only you knew the benefits of being single, you cannot, you will not even afford being in a fake relationship, being in a toxic relationship. Uh, another episode of Never a Boring Moment with Vandoline. Please do like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure you hit that bell button because you cannot afford to miss my videos. So you cannot, you will not. <laughs> Anyways, let's get rolling. Today's video is, gonna, is going to be very fun. It's going to be... Mwah! Mind you, I am not a relationship specialist or a relationship counselor or whosoever. I am telling you this out of my personal experience being single for five years. Yes, five years, five years. Yes, I've been single for five years, girl. So I have a lot to tell you. I have so much to tell you. Okay, without wasting much of your time, let's go to benefit number one. You get to know yourself. <laughs> you get to build a relationship with yourself. Did you hear that? You have to be a relationship with yourself. Huh? There are so many things that you do not even know about yourself that when you're single and you just like sit down quietly, you will know a lot about you that you could not even imagine. You wouldn't even imagine. You would be like, oh my God, I didn't know I could do this. They always say that you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only option. It's the only option. Did you hear that? You do not know how strong you are until being strong is the only option left, left for you. Ah, forgive my English, please. But I'm telling you this out of experience. There are thousands of things that I've done while being single. I, I, I will look at myself, I'm like, who did this? Like, who did this? Yes, a lot of things. For example, I do my, my car oil change. Yes, I know when I'm supposed to do it. And my I car got know. bad and I have to, you know, do the search myself. I have to Google and search this. I know what to buy. I take my car to the mechanic. You know, a lot of things that we always feel like, oh, it's a man's thing. It's a man that is supposed to do this. You don't even feel like you can do it. But when you don't have option, you don't, you, when you don't have option, you don't have option. You have to do it. And that's when you realize that, oh my God. So I did this by myself? Yes, you did it by yourself. Of course. Things like paying your bills, bro. You pay your bills for yourself. You, you have to pay your rent. You have to pay your water. You have to pay your electricity. You have to fix things by yourself. Girl, did you know you could do that? I'm just asking you, did, did you know the power you have being a woman without any support from any man or anybody? Do you even know that? Girl, you cannot know how strong you are until being strong is the only option that you have. So if you are afraid to be single, I'm telling you, you have failed. You have failed. You need to be single to know what you have as a woman, to know your capabilities. I'm not saying that if you're in a relationship, you will not know all those things. No, 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 don't get me to stay. Do not get me to this. But there are a lot of things that when you're in a relationship, you always feel like, oh, my boyfriend will do that. Oh, my boyfriend will do that. I'm talking about relationship. I'm not talking about marriage. I've never been married, so I do not know about anything like that. No, there are thousands of things. There are so many things that will be like, oh, my God. Oh, you did it. So why are you afraid to be single? Why are you so scared to come out from that toxic relationship? Why are you so scared to start over? Why are you scared to know yourself? Why are you scared to have a relationship with yourself? Why? Take yourself out. Have fun. Enjoy. You just, you just you. You got, you have that time to know you better. To know you be better, like to know you more than any other person. Like if you do not have a good relationship with yourself, how would you have a good relationship with another person? If you cannot live by yourself comfortably and happy, how are you going to live with another person and expect to be happy? You have to be single, not just single, but single and happy. Single and happy. You get that? Okay. Let's go to number two. Eh, 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 eh. 
you have the opportunity you have enough time to build a stronger relationship with god ah build a stronger relationship with god you have the time to design the type of man you have i tell god god you know what this is the type of man i have you write it down <laughs> Excuse you? Ah. It was only after being single that I realized that I could, I could read my entire Bible. Yes, I read my entire Bible. That was when I was like, damn. I got closer and closer to God that I'm beginning to think like, Jesus, I was missing a lot. I was so much missing a lot. Remember, I am not saying that if you're in a relationship, you cannot build a stronger relationship with God. I am not saying that. Mm -mm. Don't get me wrong. I did not say that. You can still build a stronger relationship with God, depending on the type of man that you're in a relationship with. Depending on the type of man. Trust me. If you're in a relationship with a guy that really loves God, that loves God, that wants to talk to God, you're so perfectly fine, my dear. But you are, but if you're in a relationship with a guy that does not know God, that doesn't want to talk about God, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. Like you have that time. You have excess time to just sit down and meditate and tell God what you want. You tell God what type of a guy you want in your life. You talk to God. You go for, for, for vacations. You go for retreats. You visit places. You have that so much time to invest with God. Isn't that something very amazing? Isn't that something very beautiful? Like that time that you could have taken talking with your brother. Oh, baby, where are you? Are you cheating with me? What are you doing this way? Can't you respond to my text? Excuse you? Oh, that was a high school thing. Not a 2024 thing. I don't think so. I don't think so. If you're in a relationship and you're still begging for communication, go, go. Get out. Get out. You don't want me to spank you, right? Just get out. If you're begging for attention, you're begging for communication, you're begging for, excuse me? Those are the basic, like the basic, like things like that. That is supposed to come naturally with just normal strangers, talk less of being in a relationship and begging for communication. Go, dumb that person, dumb, dumb him or her and get out. You need to construct a meaningful relationship with God. I just realized that if you do not have a strong relationship with God, it is very difficult and very hard for you to get what you want. Mind you, I mean, sometimes we are being, you know, pushed around by our friends. Oh, my friends are getting married. Oh, my friends are in a good relationship. Why am I this? Why am I? No, girl. Look at those fingers. They are not the same, right? They are not the same. So do not expect your things to be like your friends or other people. Why would you allow somebody to push you? Who are they? Are they God? Are they you? You know, ah, uh, what is going on? What is going on? I think if you are in a relationship that you feel like you're being pressed or you've been like, you're being pushed, I don't think that is a good relationship for you. So my benefit, the number two benefit for me is something that I did not even know, like I could build so much, a stronger, stronger relationship with God that I love it now. Like I love it. I just can't just like do with God, do without God. I cannot. It's just so amazing getting to know yourself, telling God and this and that. Oh, did you hear that? You have the opportunity to build a stronger relationship with God. Like some Bible quotations that I know now. I think I didn't even know. Freedom! Hey. Freedom, 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 freedom. Ooh, ah, ah. Benefits number three. The power of freedom, my dear. You have freedom. You have freedom to do whatsoever you want. Ah. Did you hear that? You have a lot of freedom. You don't have nobody bothering you. Ah, sister. Did you hear that? You have so much freedom. You have nobody to bother you. Ah, where are you? What are you doing? Can you come over? I need you over. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If you have never tested freedom, you need to be single and test 
freedom, what it means to be free. Sometimes when I get back from work, I just like, I just lie down and I rest and I'm sleeping. My sister will come and be like, Manda, what are you doing? Since I'm sleeping now, don't just tape me. And she's like, girl, you know what? Sleep. You have to sleep now because when you get married, <laughs> by the time you're so tired and you want to sleep, your baby will start crying. Why? 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 Your husband will be like, babe, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? So if you have the opportunity, sleep and sleep very well while you are still single. There are some things that... <laughs> During the weekend, my sister will be like, oh my God, she has to cook, she has to do everything and do a lot of a thousand things. And you're single, bro. And you're, and you're telling me you're afraid to be single. You're telling me because you're in a seven years relationship, you don't want to start over. You're telling me that you cannot just do with a guy that doesn't love you. Excuse me. Do you know the power of freedom? Do you know what it means to be free? Single, free, happy. I'm sure you have never tested it because if you have tried, you will better enjoy that time while you still have the opportunity rather than when you really die past that age and then you start being like, oh my God, if I knew how, if I knew, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Are you just serious? So sis, if you want to enjoy your time, you better leave that relationship that is not beneficial for you and come and enjoy this freedom and wait patiently for God to send your man to you very patiently. And God is going to do that for you because, of course, Jeremiah 29, 11, what, did it, what does it say? What does it say? Before I formed you in the womb, I already know you. I had plans for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans of a good future. So why are you rushing? Why are you rushing? Why can't you just relax? Enjoy the power of freedom. Do whatsoever you want to do. Don't say I didn't tell you. Freedom. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Easy decision making. Easy decision making. Did you hear that? <laughs> Easy decision making. Oh my God. You do not have to console nobody to make a decision about you. You do not have... You do not have any obligation to consult somebody to, before you make a decision about yourself. Yeah, or about anything that you want to do. Mm -mm, you do not. You do not. All you need to do is just tell God about it. Father, your daughter wants to go for a party this weekend. God guide me, protect me, and period. And God will do his job. Very simple. God, I want to go to Dubai. I want to travel. Father, I don't have money, but I know you can provide. Because your word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything shall be added unto thee. God will provide that money and you go. Even if you don't have money, that means it's not the right time for you to travel. That means you just have to wait. You just have to wait. <laughs> and at the right time, God will provide that money for you to travel the world and enjoy yourself. But you do not need to consult nobody, nobody to make that decision. If you feel like walking, you want to dress however you dress, nobody. It's your personal decision, dear. It's your personal decision. It is up to you to do whatever you want to do with yourself. And whosoever that does not like it is their personal business. Your business is to look good. Your business is to go wherever you want. Your business is to take yourself and travel. Your business is to take yourself out and have good lunch, good dinner, and look good and sexy and graceful. And that handsome rich guy is going to find you and be like, damn, girl, you look so good. <laughs> Easy decision making. Easy. The only person you have to talk to is God. Or maybe your mommy and your dad. But the person that you just need to console before you do anything that you want is God. And once you talk to God, you're good, girl. 
God will protect you. He will guide you. He will lead you along a right path for his name's sake. What else do you want? What else do you want? Huh? Hmm? But those who wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagle. They shall run and not be tired. They shall walk and not be weary. Isaiah 40, 31. Eh? 21. Yeah. Whatever. Something like that. So what is it? Is that not something that you yearn for? If you're watching this relationship, if you're watching this video and you are in a relationship that you don't want, and you can't even get it right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Me no know <no> again. <laughs> easy decision making go. Easy. Very easy and interesting. Very, very easy. Number five. The power to do whatever you want, however you want it, and whenever you want it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Should I repeat myself? Whatever you want, however you want, and whenever you want it, you have the power to do that. Yes, 100%. You do it. If you feel like today you're not going to work, but you have money to pay a bills, you would do it, my dear. If you feel like you don't even want to go anywhere, you just want to sleep the entire day, you want it, you do it. You have that so much power. The power to invest in yourself. The power to acquire the knowledge that you want. The power to read the books that you want. It is only when I was single that I had to read so many books that I could not even imagine in my head that I would ever do that. I learned so much. I got to invest so much on myself that I'm like, well, what, are you do? what, what were you doing a long time ago? What, what were you doing? You want to do whatever you want. Whatever. You, you have to design yourself the way you want it, the way you love it, and be comfortable with it. You have to invest yourself into a level, into a level that the person that is coming to your life is either he comes to that level or he backs up. You have to design your life. You have to design your personality. You have to design who you want to be. And let that person come and meet you the way you want to be. Not come again and start telling you, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. To say to who? To who? You have that power to create your life. To, you have the power to know you, to invest in you, to have a better relationship with you. You have it. So why can't you just take that time? To be single, invest in yourself, know yourself, acquire the knowledge you want to acquire, be who you want to be, follow your dreams, invest in your dreams, become who you want to be. Sometimes you're single because you are not where you are, where you are supposed to be. And God is like, if you are not there, that man that wants that you want to be with you, you will not be able to have it. There are some stages that you just, that God is like, no, you have to, you don't have to be in a relationship now. What you have to do now is to build yourself. What you have to do now is to do what you think is good for you before somebody else come into your life. So I just feel like this last point that I have is so heavy that I don't even know like how to really like elaborate in it very well. Invest in yourself. Know who you are. Know who you want to be. Know the power you have. So that when somebody else is coming into your life, they will know who you are. They will know the powers you have. They you know your, 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 your capabilities, your abilities. And nobody, nobody will have the right to talk you down. Nobody will break you down. Nobody will tell you what to do or what not to do. Because you already have what you want. You are already who you want to be. You have your dreams in your hands. So that is something very great that a lot of people don't even know. And if you're not strong enough, you wouldn't have that. So, if you have come this far, oh, I really appreciate you for listening to my ranting. And my experience. I've been single for five good years, five freaking years. So I've learned so much, and now we still have to share. But please, so
do like subscribe share and comment and comment one of the benefits that you have gained as a single person that i did not mention please just share in the comment section because i really want to know i really want to know your journey being single or what you or what you want or what you have achieved anything i really want to know just write it in the comment section because we are here to learn I really want to know what are your benefits, what you've gone through, what you're still going through, what you want to acquire and how you did it and all those things. But please, my darlings, you can follow me on Instagram. Yeah, you can see the other parts of me, a very quiet part of me. <laughs> and you can also follow me on TikTok. Please follow me on TikTok. That's the craziest part of me is on TikTok. Like you will laugh. You will laugh. Yes, trust me, you will laugh. Uh, yes, you will laugh so much. And Facebook is for families. So if you can follow me, if you're my family, just follow me on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching this far. And may God bless you abundantly. Until next time, please do have fun. Enjoy your life while you still have the opportunity. And do not forget to like, share, and hit the notification button. Because you cannot just afford to miss the next part of the story. You cannot. And by the way, I uploaded my face youtube channel like a get to know my video please this is the link right here so please do watch it and comment please thank you and may god bless you i love you Mwah. bye